how do we name our kings? What are the simple rules? Identify double bonds. Identify the longest chain, number the carbon atoms. Let's apply these three basic rules in naming simple alkenes. Examples. Look at this compound. Carbon atoms arranged with the double bond on the first carbon. Identify the longest chain. If we draw a straight line and bend it at the end, we'll get six or five carbon atoms. So this is pentene. Double bond is on carbon number one. Therefore, it is pent one in. So pentene or pent one in. This is very simple. Easy example. Another example. Identify the longest chain. Let's draw a straight line. Straight line will take one, two, three, four, five carbon atoms. But if we bend this line towards the end, we'll get a longer chain, which includes more than five, that is six carbon atoms. All right, so that is hexene. Now look at the double bond. The double bond is placed on the second carbon. Therefore, this is not X in, so it is X2 in, because the double bond is on carbon number 2. Alright, let's identify the functional groups. There's a methyl group on carbon number 3. Okay, so that's 3 methyl. Also, there's another methyl, methyl group on carbon number 4. So that's 4 methyl. If we combine all of this, it will get the name for the compound to be 3, 4 dimethyl hex 2 in. It's another simple example. Number 3. Identify the longest chain, draw a straight line across, that includes the longest chain. And this is six carbon atoms, six carbon atoms, so that's hexene. Okay, if we number the carbon atoms from the left, that's carbon two, three, four, five, and six, double bond will be on carbon three, the number from the right is also on carbon 3, but they are functional groups, methyl groups on carbon number 3, so it's better to number from the right. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Therefore, there are methyl groups on carbon 2 and 3, so we have a 2 methyl and a 3 methyl. But also, this is not hexene, it's x 3 in, because double bond is on carbon number 3. Now the first functional group, carbon 2 and carbon 3, therefore we have 2,3-dimethyl-hex-3-in. Another simple example. Now let's take our last example. Number 4. Draw a straight line across to identify the longest continuous chain. This includes 5 carbon atoms. So that's pentene. But if we number these carbon atoms, there's a double bond on carbon number two. Therefore, it's not just pentene, it's actually pent two in. All right, let's identify the functional groups. There are chlorine groups on carbon number three and carbon number four. These be written as 3, 4, and it is dichloro. If we combine all of this, that's 3, 4, dichloro, pent, 2, in. To draw alkenes and name alkenes, identify the longest continuous chain. Identify the functional groups.